the perfect look for the new season. This is Autumn Ombre. So right now my new routine is skipping foundation and using just concealer to create perfect looking skin. I'm using here the Great Cover Up Concealer in Light Neutral Cool. Next, using here my small blush brush, I'm going to buff everything in, blending the concealer until it completely disappears onto the skin. This will help create the illusion of flawless looking skin. So just keep blending and make sure that everything is even and let's move on by setting your concealer with powder. And <laughs> what I'm going to do here is cover up my forehead shine. Again, just buff this onto your skin to mattify your face. You want to make sure that your skin has a matte finish for this look. And before moving on to my eye makeup, I'm going to stain my lips with a deep berry color. My lips tend to get dry very easily, so this lip balm will also help moisturize my lips from the chilly dry air. A nice stain like this is actually a great way to get acquainted with a dark lip color. Moving on to the brows, I'm going to use here this brow gel from Makeup Forever. Load it up with your brush and start applying it on your brows. You can see here that every stroke I make, I'm spreading the product out. What I'm doing here is reshaping my brows, and you can reshape them into any brow shape you like. For this look, I decided to keep my brows straight and full with a very minimal arch. This will give me a more sophisticated look. If you look at actresses like Natalie Portman, Jennifer Connelly, Audrey Hepburn, and even Lily Collins, they tend to sport a strong set of fuller, straighter brows, and you can see that they're known to have a classy, elegant look. Let's take a shimmering peachy pink eyeshadow color. I'm using here the NYX eyeshadow in Fahrenheit. Just apply this on your lid. Try and keep the concentration around this area. From here, you can keep layering and layering until you've reached the maximum color payoff. And you can apply with your clean ring finger. It's just as good as a brush. Alright, now take a navy color with a pearl finish and load it up on your brush and add this color on the outer third of your eyes. You want to work your way along the natural contour of your eyes, keeping most of the concentration along the outer edge. Now take a blending brush and with a dabbing motion, blend the navy blue color with the peachy pink color. This is going to help create a beautiful ombre effect. With a smaller brush, just pick up the same peachy pink color and apply this along the lower lash line, stopping halfway. Alright, now we can pick up a sparkling angel dust eyeshadow color. Look for a shimmering pearl shadow with gold flakes. Just dab this along the inner part of your eye. This is going to create a beautiful luminous effect. And to offset the vampireness of this eye look, apply a rose gold color along your waterline to brighten up the color of your eyes. And let's just say you're not a fan of using white eyeliner, try rose gold instead. It's a softer, more romantic color. Just apply this on your waterline to create a doughy eye effect. It's time to curl my lashes because my lashes are not only short and sparse, but they grow straight down. With my black eyeliner from Starlux in the color Obsidian, just line your eyes. Using a black eyeliner will give your eyes a softer look than a liquid liner. Alright, when you're done lining your eyes, let's move on to mascara. I'm using my It's So Big Volumizing Mascara. Just apply generous coats of this baby onto your lashes. So keep building up your lashes until you're satisfied with the length and volume. Moving on, to bring more definition to my face, I'm going to use my contouring and highlighting stick called Kiara Skuru, where one side is a contouring shade and the other side is the highlighter. With the contouring shade, draw two skinny lines down the sides of your nose. And just bring it back up towards your brows. And when you're done with that, take your finger and blend the line to soften it. And let's just say you want to create the illusion of a lifted nose, shadow under the tip of your nose. Think of it like creating the letter U, 
and just blend. It's kind of like a nose job in seconds. It's crazy what contouring can do. From here, you can either finish off with a nude lipstick or a bright red lip. I'm using here Kylan's lip color in Big Apple. Using the built-in brush, I'm going to create perfectly shaped red lips. If you're rocking a strong red lip, it's really all about creating a clean edge. Alright, when you're done painting your lips, take a brush and with a little bit of concealer, clean up the edge around your lips. Nope, we're not done yet. This red lip looks a little bit too glamorous for autumn, so take your brush loaded up with a navy color and start feathering along the sides of your lips to create an ombre effect. This will give your lips more dimension and will go with any dark outfit. And for a finishing touch, using the Butter London Nail Lacquer in La Mas, paint your nails with the color of deep red wine. Alright my dear, your look is finished. Hmm, my favorite things about autumn? Well, I like bundling myself up with a sweater and scarf, Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. It's kind of like the universal sign that winter is coming. You know, I kind of wish that autumn could last longer and winter could be shorter. Why can't they trade places? Alright everyone, have fun experimenting with this look. Good luck. Giveaway time! I'm going to give away 65 life palettes. It's really easy to win. All you have to do is go on mcosmetics.com and sign up. That's it. 65 random M members will automatically win. And if you've already signed up, you've automatically entered. My second giveaway is open globally. 10 winners will not only receive the life palette, you're also going to get the Kiara Scuro contouring and highlighting stick, a lip gallery lipstick, a water liner, a pillow plush lip balm, and a skin filter illuminator. Here's how you can win. First, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Second, like this video. Third, just comment below and tell me what was the last thing you ate. I know it's random, but what can I say? I love food. You can enter as many times as you'd like until the deadline, then I'll randomly choose 10 winners. Good luck everyone! See you in my next video. Bye!